Hi, Matthew. Welcome back to Matthew's Learning Channel, part two of Texas. Why? Because everything's bigger in Texas. So I'll start off by showing you the Texas state flag. Red, white, and blue with a white star. That's the Texas flag, Matthew. Red, white, blue, white star. Texas is located in the southwest part of the United States. It's, it's traditionally considered one of the friendliest states where people always greet you with a smile. One of the theories that Texans smile because they love their sports. Today we're going to talk a little bit about sports. So I'll just start with the Texas Longhorns. Hook 'em Horns. They're located in downtown Austin, Texas. And um, there, there's always rivalry, rivalry um, games through um, Oklahoma, which we'll be talking about, um, and other football teams. Um, but Texas always comes out strong. Um, let's see. So this is a picture of Texas. Again, uh, Austin, Texas in the middle, Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth in the upper part, El Paso towards the west, Houston, Humble, Frisk, uh, Houston, Humble down to the east, and Corpus down by the coast here. There's a lot of water. I should have filled in some more water over here, but there, there's water down here, Mexico to the south. Again, uh, I want to show you that flag again, Matthew. It's red, white, and blue with the white star. So, Texas is located in the southwest part of the United States. Considered one of the most friendly states. One of the theories is Texas smiled because they loved their sport team. Back in the 1970s, making films was very, very big deal. The NFL coaches from the Dallas Cowboys uh, had made some highlight films promoting their team. And uh, through that, the, um, the Dallas Cowboys became America's team. Um, up in Houston at the Minute Maid Park, in the NFL National Football League, uh, there's the Texas, Texans, the Houston Texans, and um, their domed, um, multi purpose dome is pretty popular. Um, uh, moving to the NBA, the uh, San Antonio Spurs, they play at the AT&T Center east of town in San Antonio, which seats 18,500 people. A franchise with one of the highest winning percentages in the history of the NBA league. Um, back, let's see, where do we go next? Back to Dallas. Dallas is quite a popular tourist destination and great sports fan. And great for the sports fans. The NBA Dallas Mavericks are fun to watch. Um, they play out at the American, American Airlines Center near downtown Dallas. Move over to Arlington uh, for the second largest dome stadium in the world, um, the Dallas Cowboys. Um, let's see what else. Who, uh, there's a few golf courses also up in uh, Frisco and Fort Worth. Uh, golf is very big in, in Dallas. Uh, back to Arlington, uh, Globe Life Park, guess who, for the Texas Rangers. I wish I had my Texas Rangers hat on. Um, I need to buy you one, Matthew, a red one. Let's see. Uh, the Arlington is home to the Texas Rangers, Major League Baseball. Uh, I, I also learned, um, did some research on the stadium, Globe Life Park, um, their new stadium, when you're there, you can uh, look across the par parking lot and see their old uh, Arlington Stadium still intact. Um, let's go back to Houston, Humble, Texas, where the Shell Houston Open, one week before the Masters, um, people have a chance to get on the roster of the PGA Tour one last week. Uh, over there, uh, they're also... Um, Texas is host to the sixth most oldest professional worldwide 
um, golf golf tournament, the Valero Texas Open at AT&T Oaks Course in San Antonio. This has been going on since 1922. Let's see. Um, also, um, in Austin, back down to Austin, uh, we have the United States Grand Prix where there's uh, 120, uh, 100, the capability for 120,000 fans out in October. Um, NASCAR, they do a lot of NASCAR. Oh, NASCAR is up in Frisco. So, um, yeah, Austin's home to the um, the Circuits of America, Grand Prix, and um, Formula One also. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit. My video is going on for about six minutes. Uh, again, um, come visit Austin. When you're in Austin, give me a call, Matthew. Um, I'll be here. And I love you so much, Matthew. We're going to study. Um, I'm planning on studying. Um, plan on um, posting about New York, uh, the East Coast, a couple of a couple states out in the East Coast. I uh, love, I love to teach you about the West Coast, California, Oregon, Idaho. Uh, of course, we have to do Oklahoma soon, the mid states, and um, I really want to teach you about some of the different countries. Um, let's see, Norway, uh, France, some of uh, uh, Europe, a couple uh, states in Europe. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to learn some more. I got a couple days off, so I'm going to be posting a few more videos. Um, it's good to see you. Hope you had a good, fun time, Matthew. I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget our state flag, red, white, and blue, Texas flag with the white star. Have a good day, Matthew. See you soon.